Hello, welcome to Made Fit TV. I'm your host, Jennifer DiDonato, and this is episode number 104. Made Fit TV is everyone's source for health and fitness information and entertainment, in case you didn't know. And it's also where fit bodies don't just happen, they're made, okay? A lot of people get a little intimidated, but you can make it. It's just all about what you're educated in and your motivation, and that's what we're here for. So welcome. Um, I'm a little scratchy right now because a few days ago I just got back from Vegas. So, um, but of course, I came back not empty-handed. I have a like sinus infection or something, so I really apologize for my scratchy throat. But anyway, it was great. And uh, at the end of the podcast, I'll show you guys some awesome pictures because we went to UFC 116. Oh, it was great. So anyway, we'll talk about that later. But anyway, 104 episode. This is what it is. And today is going to be a beginner's guide to finding the right program for you. And when I say beginners, you know, don't go ahead and shut this thing off because you're not a beginner. Hold up. Because just because you're not a beginner doesn't mean that you can't benefit from this podcast because all of us, sometime or another, whether we've been working out for 10 years or 10 months or 10 days, we hit a plateau. We hit a point where, you know, something's got to change. And so that's why I want to do this podcast because I get so many emails, um, including the one from Ree uh, from Texas. And she writes, do, 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 let me find it. She emailed me through Ask Jenny and she says, I've been trying to be consistent with my workouts, but I get bored easily. Don't we all? <laughs> I've been doing at least 30 minutes, four days a week. Uh, they vary from treadmill, recumbent bike to 30 minute body weight and weightlifting exercises. Is this a good way for me to kick off my weight loss again? Or should I have a set routine like Monday, upper body, Wednesday, lower body, Friday, cardio? Please help. I don't want to be wasting my time if my routine is not going to work. I will set up a routine if needed, but I really like the variety of waking up in the morning and doing what I want to enjoy for the day. Thank you so much, Ray. And um, key word in there is enjoy. That is the key word, because if you don't enjoy what you're doing, that is um, gonna be a problem for you if you're trying to see results. So let's start off. Number one, if you have been working out or working with your program for at least three months and you're still not seeing any changes whatsoever, and I'm talking about measurable changes, I'm talking about weight loss, uh, um, you know, changes in circumference of your waist, the way you look and feel. If you are not seeing any changes or feeling any different whatsoever after a good 12 weeks, stop what you're doing because you're doing something wrong and you just need to stop it. And the one thing that I find when I try to introduce um, a different way of training with my clients even, a lot of times people, you know, you meet it with resistance. And the reason why is that we're, we're creatures of habit. And, you know, we will read those magazines and we will just constantly you spin our wheels because we are so afraid to just step outside the box. But what I always ask people is, well, have you been getting results from what you've been doing? And they say no. So I say, so what have you got to lose to change it? Try something different. So we'll talk about how you can do that. Number two, figure out exactly what you're aiming for when you're doing these workouts. When you are, you know, why are you eating right? Why are you waking up at 7 a.m. to do your workout? Step back for a second. Not just, I, I don't want you to say, oh, because I want to lose weight. Oh, because I want to look better. That's, no, that's not something specific. I want you guys to be specific. I want you to st tell me, okay, do you want to increase muscle mass? Okay, if you do, measure your biceps, guys or girls. Measure your quads. You have to have quantitative data. If you want to get more mass, you're obviously gonna have to know what your body fat percentage is and your lean body mass and what your weight is to be able to calculate that. Also, strength gain. Um, if you've been only doing eight reps at your max repetition or your max weight and you can't do any more, track that. You gotta have a journal, you gotta track the reps, track the weight if you want to increase your strength, okay? You have to track it. Another one is endurance. Everyone says, why, I, I, you know, I need more better cardio endurance. Okay, well, are you tracking what you're doing? Are you tracking the time with the distance? Are you tracking, um, you know, how you're running depending on what day it is. Are you on a treadmill? Are you on, are you running outside? Because the wind can impact that as well. So you have to track your progress. Another one, time and speed, same thing. You got to track the time, got to track the, diff the distance if you want to improve on your time with, or your speed with the running. Uh, fat loss, same thing. I want to lose fat. Okay, well, what's your body fat percentage now? 
find that out. You can go to many gyms. You can just walk in there. Even if you're not a member, you could potentially get an assessment and a, tra and a trainer can assess you right there. You need to know what your body fat percentage is if you want to see results to be able to track it. Same thing with weight loss. What number is it that you want to reach? Is that number even reachable, reachable based on your, your body type? Is it reachable based on your activity, what you've been doing? You have to be specific. Another one also, measurements. If you want to fit better in your pants, okay? Measure your waist. Why are we so afraid to just face the facts, okay? There is no room for being embarrassed when it comes to your health and fitness. That stuff needs to go out the window. You need to get serious if you want to see these results. So know what your measurements are, track those measurements every few weeks to know. And another one too, a lot of people say they want to jump higher or run faster. Track it, you can get vertical, uh, vertical rulers. I have videos on here, show you how to jump higher. Track it, boom you know, one inch every week, month, whatever. Just make sure you're specific in what you're looking for with your goals. Because if you're not specific, then your training can't be specific either. All right, number three, decide on what method of training keeps you interested. What makes you tick, okay? A lot of people, they hate the gym. Well, then stop going to the gym. You guys gotta enjoy what you're doing. You know, maybe you like point systems, you know, instead of, you know, make it a game instead of maybe, um, you know, just going there and just doing some random machine, set up a structure for yourself, make a point system, set goals for yourself based on points. That way it can be more fun. Do you like working on groups? Do you like challenges with people? You know, with a partner even, you know, make it a game. Another one too, take up a sport. Maybe, maybe explore something that you've never even thought of before. You know, like, I don't even know if it exists, but underwater basket weaving, I don't know. Something that is different that you've never even tried before. It doesn't have to be baseball, it doesn't have to be soccer. It could be something completely different. Cricket, you know, here in the States. You know, not many people play cricket or, you know, rugby or something different. Or for women, take up gymnastics, a basic yoga class. Mix it up, because if you don't like it, you're wasting your time. Another thing too is number four, execute your program and make sure that your method that you're executing your program in meets your goal. Because if you say, I want to lose 10 inches for my waist, but you're not doing any cardio or you're not eating right and all you're doing is lifting weights, you're missing pieces of that puzzle that could fit into your specific goal. So you don't want to cheat yourself of that. You know, some things that you can do is, like I said, discover a completely new sport or activity. It doesn't even have to be a sport, an activity. Because when you feel good about yourself, it's, you know, even if it's not exercise or activity, it's going to make you want to, to do good for yourself. And it's going to make you want to take care of your body if it gets to that point. Another one, too, change the atmosphere. Ditch the gym membership. Try something different. Join up a yoga studio. Um, maybe start taking up the, you know, swimming. Join a, a swim club if there's one in your area or go in the pool, swim in the ocean, just be, be safe. You know, um, find a set of stairs or bleachers, anything. You know, be, be different, get out of your comfort zone, try something new because there are no rules to health and fitness. Another one, use a timer instead of counting repetitions. The Gym Boss is great. You can see it on my website on the homepage. That Gym Boss is only 20 bucks and that thing can take you anywhere. You can program it however you want and it's right there with you and you don't even have to think about it. You just, you just follow along with the repetitions, the, 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 uh, the timing that it gives you. It's really great. Try something different like that. Another thing too, use a journal. You gotta track your progress. I know it's gonna feel like a chore at first but you have to do it. Otherwise, what have you got to compare if you're sitting there complaining they're not getting results, okay, we'll prove it. Show me what you've been doing. You have to track what you've been doing. And the most important thing is be committed and have fun because if you're not committed, just like you would for a job, you lose your job, right? Same thing with your health and fitness. If you're not committed, you're not gonna be healthy and fit and you're not gonna have the optimal body that you want and the optimal wellness and long longevity in your life that you could have and have fun, that's so important. So guys, if you have any questions, email me uh, through the Ask Jenny button on the homepage and also comment on this. I wanna get more people commenting in the comment section because a lot of you guys send really great emails and with these emails come a lot of good responses that I want more people to see. So send me a question on the comment section right here and be sure to read the comments and uh, the text underneath this video on mayfittv.com because there's a lot more than if you just go on YouTube. So check it out here. Anyway, thanks so much for you guys for being patient since we've been a little, you know, sketchy with the timings of our podcast. But I just thank you all so much for the live chats. We'll see you next week. Uh, fit bodies don't just happen. They're made. I'll see you next time.